live. I don't know why my little screen is so small. Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry. If any of you have caught my live last night, you'd know that um, Facebook's changed this and it takes a little bit longer for me to figure out what I'm doing. Um, okay, happy Thursday. Good Friday tomorrow. Who has had hot cross buns already? I have. I had three yesterday. They were delicious. Um, so if you're planning on eating Easter eggs, having chocolate, if you're having um, planning on having more hot cross buns like my lady that I've just had a session with, she's having them Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for breakfast. So hopefully we can try and work off some of that stuff beforehand. Um, you will need a kettlebell today. Um, and I just want to say, I said it yesterday in my live and I've said it on Instagram, but I actually think that all of you lot are doing amazing um, at the moment. I'm talking to a lot of you quite regularly and everyone sort of keeping up with their healthy habits. There's some people that are sort of having a few things slip by the wayside, but we can get those back on track. So I just want to say, yeah, I think you're doing brilliant jobs at the moment, staying sane. Um, and I'm really hoping you're enjoying these lives because I'm actually really enjoying being at home and doing them for you. So let's get into it. My back's a little bit stiff this morning, so it might take a little bit longer with my warm up. I might do some a little bit more of a, sp um, a few more spine twists. Now I can't see who is actually logged on today. I don't know. I actually don't know where it is. So um, yeah, let me know at the end, or let me send drop me a comment because I can I can I can see I can write comments, but I can't see where they pop up if anyone else does. So if anybody does write something to me and I don't respond or I don't talk to you when you pop when you um and you've logged on. I'm really sorry. I just don't know how this is working at the moment. So, um, if you joined me on Thursday, if you joined me on Tuesday, it's Thursday today. We did four exercises, four times. We did two different circuits, four lots of exercises in each circuit, and we did that four times. We're going to do the same thing today, but the first circuit's got four exercises and the second set's got three exercises, and this time the first um, lot of exercises is, is only 10 repetitions as opposed to 20. So we'll warm up. I'll go through it again, but just as a heads up, that's what we expect. Okay, so we are going to do our walkouts. So you're going to peel down. Hmm. Okay. No, worth. Massive. It's never my good spot. through those hamstrings you're going to be a bit cold because you've just woken up so you're going to walk your hands out okay bring one foot up to your wrist open out get that spine twist and then the other side okay oh good and then you're going to walk your hands back up and you're going to peel up one vertebra at a time and your head comes up last Okay, there's one. We're going to do eight of these, team. My back feels a bit sticky today. I definitely think it's got something to do with the way I sleep. Oh, well. Two. And down. Three. Okay. So this should raise your heart rate a just a little bit. 
peel up. Remember, shoulders are not in your ears. You're really focusing on getting some movement through that spine. Roll down. Walk out. Stretch. You stretch, and you should feel the stretch through this hip flexor as well. Five. And down. Four. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up. You're going to stretch through your glute as well. well. That might just be me today because I'm so tight. Okay. Six, two more. Oh, I haven't put my watch on. I think I did say, but you'll need a weight today. You'll need a kettlebell. I think it says in the title as well. Okay, one more. We're going to do some clams, so your heels are going to be in line with your hips, your shoulders are going to be in line with your hips too, bend a little and then you're going to open out just small little movements, activating that glute, you're going to do 25 of these, so just activating the glute. Taking the pressure off of that lower back. The lower back gets sore when it's overworked, and that's because your glutes aren't firing. Glutes aren't firing. Your glutes are firing because they're holding you up, but they're not working as much as they should be. I don't know how many I've done. It's starting to burn, so I'm going to do 10 more. Just remember it's a little movement, it's not opening out through here, okay? 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. Oh, we all know I can't count. Okay, other side. Okay, one, two, four, five, six. Twelve, thirteen. I can even feel my back loosening up. Sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh, thirteen. I'm only supposed to be doing twenty-five. Obviously, brain's not in the game today, everybody. Okay, 25 bridges. So you're going to peel up, tilt your pelvis towards you. Peel up one vertebra at a time. Try not to pop out like this. Just up here, hips to the ceiling. Squeeze in your bum, pushing your heels in the floor, into the floor. Knees slightly come out, okay? And then you're going to peel down. Squeeze your bum, peel up, and peel back down. So we're going to do 20 of these two. Really focusing on peeling up and peeling down. Okay, we're really activating those glutes. 
knees out. I've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and I'm just going to loosen up my back a little bit more than my back. Hands out to the side, feet together, and I'm just going to rock just so you get a little bit of a more of a lower spine twist, just to loosen up the back a bit more today because it's really not very heavy. Okay, so I'm going to do four more each side. And one more. Okay, it comes to us all lower back stiffness. Okay, so I still can't see anything. Anyway, bear with me. I forgot I had my coffee. Last little bit. As I said, you need a kettlebell today. We're going to do 12 single arm kettlebell swings. We're going to do 12 RDLs. We're going to do 12 single arm rows and we're going to do 12 squat press. So, single arm kettlebell swing. You're going to stand with your heat, feet slightly hip. Slightly wider than hip width apart. We're going to hold the kettlebell in one, in one hand. You're going to push your hips back and you're going to come up. And then at the top, you're going to swap hands. So you're going to do eight, six on each side, okay? So that's the first one. Then you're going to do 12 Romanian deadlifts. So this is a stiff leg deadlift. So you're going to squeeze hold of the kettlebell, you're going to have straight legs and you're going to push your hips backwards and keep your back straight. You're going to keep the kettlebell in between your legs towards your ankle bone, right? And then you're going to snap up, come down, snap up, okay? So the whole of your top half is completely still concrete in the top half of your body. Snap. And then you're going to do... Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go single arm row. So I'm going to use the edge of my couch. And I'll show you something. So same with an RDL. You're going to have straight legs. You're going to push your hips back. You're going to lean on an edge. And then you're going to row. Back is straight and you're using your lat. Row. Okay. Um, Squeeze at the top, all the way down, straight arm. Engage your glutes to hold you still. Turn your core on and row. Okay, 12 of those. And then we're going to hold the kettlebell up by its ears. And we're going to do 12 squat. And we're going to press it above our head. Down, up. Okay, so there are the four exercises. And we're going to do 12 repetitions of each one. So with this one, it's six each side. So we're going to start. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. One, two. Eleven, twelve, good, good job. Okay, twelve RDLs. 
coming out. Down. Kettlebell in between your ankles and up. Shoulder blades pull down into your back pocket. Drive. Two. Three. Four. Remember you're snapping up your spine is straight. Six. Seven. Sending yourself into the floor, really activating those glutes. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And you're trying not to overextend at the end, okay? So as you come up and you squeeze your bum, looking at your hips, just to 180. Nothing, too, nothing further than that. Okay, bent over rows. So, we're going 12 on each side, stand up, soft knee, hips back, and row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze that bum. Nine, don't forget to breathe. Ten, eleven, twelve. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Well done. And now, 12 squat press. Hold it here. And we are pressing. Squat, knees out. Press. Knees out. Press. Spread the floor of your knees. Draw your heels into the floor to get you up. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so grab a drink and then we are going on to our 20 repetitions of everything. So I've only got three exercises of this one. So the first one, so if you've got a smaller weight and you want to use it, then by all means do. Let me just show you what you're doing. This is up above you, it goes behind you, overhead, okay, and we're doing 20 of those, and so what you're focusing on is Putting yourself up with your core and not just coming up with momentum. So straight arms over, pull through your core and up. Then you're doing 20 Russian twists. So if your feet can come off the floor, then let them. If it's too much in your lower back, then by all means put them on the floor. Okay, 20 of those, and then 20 sumo squats. So out wide like a sumo wrestler, and down. Okay, 
20 of those. So 20 of all three. Okay. You ready, Tim? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. One. Two. Remember you're using that core. There's lap should get involved as you take it behind you. Feel up, feel up, use your core. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Four more. Seventeen. Oh, I haven't done these in a while. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. That's my hand. Right, so we're going 20 Russian twists. second toe. Three, two, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, putting my hands to hold this, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, grab a drink, up in the head, can you? Just in my head now. Good. Okay, so it's 20 to 12. 20 to 8. So I think I said four times with this. I think we we'll only get around twice. Twice more. So let's see how we go. So back to our single arm headroll swings. Okay, so remember hips back, arms up just the parallel, swapping hands at the top, swapping hands at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! I need to put my knee out then. Okay, twelve RDLs. Remember, squeezing hold of the kettlebell. Concrete in your arms, pushing your hips back, 
And as you come up, try not to lean too far back. You're only coming up to 180. Full extension of your hip. There you go. One. All in that hand, in that glute. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Squeeze your bum. Nine. Dragging your heels into the floor. Ten. Eleven. Woo! Twelve. We're done. Okay. Single arm rows. Again. Straight. Soft knee. Hips back. One, two, three, four, five, squeeze your bum, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oh, twelve. Really losing the plot today. Anybody would think I haven't had any coffee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Ten squat press, uh, twelve squat press. Honestly, must feel the sugar from bloody hot cross buns. Okay, and um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, remember knees out, core arms, your heels into the floor. Nine, squeeze your bum. Bum should hurt tomorrow. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, team. Okay, water. Oh, you can see my face now. All right, back on the floor. So, back to our overhead crunch. If this gets too much with your kettlebell, you can either do it without a weight or with a smaller weight. Okay, remember as you go back, try and activate through your lats as well. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Eighteen. 
19, 20. Oh, well done. How's everyone going? Okay. So, right. 7.45. We'll go through once more. Water, everybody. Okay. Back to our single arm cable swings. 12 each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, woo! Okay, adios. And here we go. Remember this is hamstring and glute. Drive, one. Drive, drive your heels into the floor, center. U-shaped hole into the floor, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Okay. Single arm rows, again, up, soft knee, break at your hips, send them backwards, yep, spine straight, lean on your, lean on your couch, lean on the stair. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, breathing in, 11, breathing out, breathe in, breathe out, 12, good job, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, breathe in, out, 9, 10, core on arm, glutes on, 11, 12, good, 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 good. Okay, squat press, ready, and go, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in, draw your heels into the floor. Eleven, twelve. Good job, everyone. Okay. Yeah. One more. Look at my face. I am sweating. <sighs> I wonder how much of one hot cross bun I've burnt off of this. Okay. I think these are my most ambitious and rubbish exercise in this workout. Probably going to do this workout myself again on Sunday. Oh, that's because it's really got my heart going. Okay. Three, two, one, go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, remember, peeling up, peeling down. Ten, halfway team, nearly there. Eleven. Whoa, my shoulders are on fire. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, four more team, four more. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, last one, last one, last one. Twenty. Woo. Okay. Twenty Russian twists. I tell you what, it is holding this camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, seven fifty-two. We've got twenty sumo spots to do and then we can stretch. Really no. no, I am fading with the camera angle today, but that's okay. Okay. So wide stance, like a sumo wrestler, still knees coming out, up, two, three, stretch we'll go into our downward facing dog stretch you should feel your hamstrings tomorrow with those RDOs and those kettlebell swings so I hope you're cursing my name tomorrow as I will be myself okay so let your head hang heavy head all your feet if you need to feel that stretch through your calves and your hamstrings Right, and then you're going to bring one knee through to your wrist, in between both wrists, uncurl this back foot, stretch through that, get that stretch through your glute. Woo. And breathe, get your heart rate down. So, I started my watch when we were warming up. And that's 33 minutes of exercise with a warm up and now into a cool down. So, roughly about 30 minutes of exercise, so that's good. Okay, so, sides. So, I hope you all have a lovely Easter. No, I need too much chocolate, I'm going to take that already. Stay away from the hot cross buns like me. I think they really killed my workout today. Okay, swap round onto your back, one leg outstretched, knee to chest, 
give your ankle in the air a wiggle. Don't forget, I do this every Tuesday, Thursday at 7.15. Um, I do put some of them on YouTube so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, if you need something a little bit more than exercise, help with exercise, then I am offering a 30 day coaching package where it's 45 minutes coaching session a week for four weeks and we do personalized meal plans and we do personalized exercise programs. I also do a 12 week coaching package and that's more of a journey in terms of looking at your habits of, around food, sleep and then exercise and we look a lot more holistically at mindset and stuff like that. So if you do need a little bit more help, maybe you want to try check out the 12 week um, package. All the details are on my Facebook page or you can just send me a direct message if you want to just chat about it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so sorry, I digress. We're going to go back to our first leg and we're going to bring it across our body, keeping our shoulders on the floor, looking away from the knee. And then you're going to go the other side. Oh, no back cracks today. Must have loosened it up all with my, uh, my uh, exercise. Okay. And slowly come up. Don't yank yourself up. And then you're going to put both feet together, interlace your fingers, push your hands to the ceiling. Then you're going to bend one way, keeping your chest open, and then you're going to bend the other. And then you're going to come back to centre. Big deep breath in and release. Shoulder rolls. And you're done. Well done, everyone. Um, I hope that's got you in the mood for Easter break and in the mood for a good day at work. So much love. Have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday.